Now that you know when you need to submit a PASR, let's view a PASR in e-commerce. When you click on New PASR, you will see the Header Data and PASR Report Property Lines sections. The Header Data section is where you enter the applicable operator code and the operator assigned document name. The PASR Report Property Lines section is where you enter the report type, production month, and API gravity or BTU content. You will also enter the operator facility name, location, and FMPs that apply. Next, click on the product button under PASR detail. The PASR product information screen will open. The PASR product information section is where you account for the sales and or other sources volume for each FMP or lease agreement or agreement receiving an allocation for the reported FMP. To review, you must use the PASR to report monthly sales volumes to honor on any offshore federal lease or agreement in any of these circumstances. It has a commingling indicator code of 3. It is commingled with state production. It has flash gas or flash gas from retrograde from state production or There is buyback volume for federal offshore oil production. You must continue to report PASRs for that FMP until it is terminated, inactivated, or until the commingling indicator code is changed. This concludes the walkthrough of the PASR. Please see the other videos on our PASR series and other videos on how to report to Honor. We also encourage you to subscribe to the Honor channel for updates and email us if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for your time.